Hello and welcome to our virtual yoga class. We'll begin class in a seated meditation. So make your way to a cross-legged position. And then we'll check in with our bodies. Noticing that throughout the day, we tend to be more passive with our bodies. Our bodies collapse a little bit more. So here be intentional about lengthening the spine and then drawing the shoulders down. You're noticing your core is gently active, supporting this length in the spine. Hands can rest on your knees. And then for the next three breaths, eyes open or close. Inhale and exhale, you can sigh it out. Perhaps lengthening your second breath cycle a little longer than you're accustomed to. And then welcoming a third breath cycle, inhaling here, optional exhale, side out. We're releasing that tension from a week ago or earlier in the day. We'll start to lift our shoulders up towards our ears and then draw them down. Now, as I lift my shoulders up towards my ears, my hands remain softly on my knees. And then as I draw them down, I very purposely draw my shoulder blades closer together. That's going to shift that opening right between the shoulder blades, opening any tense spots there. Elbows remain relaxed, close to your torso. A few times here, shoulders up towards your ears and then drawing them down. Welcome a deep belly breath. And then release your shoulders. Now lift your shoulders up and now roll them forward. Now it feels a little different, a little bit more awkward here, rolling the shoulders forward. It's a motion we're not very familiar with. That opens up, continues to open up around the shoulders, but now extends that opening to the upper back. Two more times here. And now bring your shoulders back to that neutral position. Check in with the length of your spine. Activate your core, spine is long. Notice any crunching around the neck or shoulders, draw them down. Chin is neutral, three breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inviting a deep belly breath. What I mean by that is that sort of breath that you feel begins at the belly. Your belly starts to expand here. And then third breath, see if you can lengthen that inhale and exhale. Then if your eyes are closed, gently open your eyes, release your hands behind you. We're going to interlace our fingers, open up our chest, draw our shoulder blades closer together, and then gently lift your chin up. It doesn't have to be all the way up towards the ceiling, just enough here, lifting your chin, lifting your gaze. You're purposely drawing your shoulder blades together, sometimes, or perhaps your palms touch or not. and then release. Now cup your forearms with your hands, or you can shift into a reverse prayer. That's where both palms touch, and then you shift your hand up towards your mid-back. Deep belly breath. You release your hands, hands on your knees, three breaths, inhale here, exhale. Cultivating that inner stillness, noticing by inviting a breath and a purposeful breath, we're also welcoming our experience. Now we're using our breath as a focusing tool here. We're building that bridge of our physical, mental, emotional body with our breath. Belly expands at any time, you can exhale side out.
then on the next inhale, we'll lift our arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, palms up towards the ceiling. Now we're going to round our spine here, your chin tucks towards your chest and you're pressing your palms towards the front of your rib. You're rounding throughout the spine, opening the lower back, mid back, upper back, up to the neck and shoulders. Palms spread out wide as well. Hold, release, hands towards your knees. We'll shift into a twist, taking that left hand to grab your right knee and now twist towards the right. Now you're using that grip to intensify the twist. You're purposely lengthening the spine and then shifting your shoulders, your chin towards your left, right shoulder. The right hand and your left knee, twist towards the left. Deep belly breath, chin moves towards your left shoulder. And now release. From here, lengthen your legs. We'll shift the stretch into our lower body. We focused on their upper body. Let's place that right foot and press it against our left thigh. Your choice to relax that left foot or flex your left foot for a more intense stretch. It'll also shift the stretch into the calf muscle along with your hamstrings. Dip your chest, your belly towards your thigh and pull. And we're gonna be here about five breaths. Notice your boundary, breathe into that boundary. And to the best of your ability, just push yourself to fold a little deeper, a little bit more than you're accustomed to, but not to a point that's painful or uncomfortable. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. And then really start to lift. Plant that right foot onto the floor. Extend that left arm out. Twist towards the right. So your elbow hooks on your knee. And then you take your gaze over that right shoulder. Your spine is long. You can flex that left foot. Press your heel towards the front. Purposely lengthen your spine here. Inhale. And then exhale. Release. Lengthen your right leg. Press your left foot against your thigh. Either flex that right foot or relax that foot. You can allow a little bend to your knee for support and then fold over, dropping your belly towards your thigh, being mindful of drawing down the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders, neck is soft. Breathe into your hamstrings, anywhere from behind the knees down to your calf. Noticing that as we explore our stretch with our breath, we're inviting a more holistic yoga experience, connecting the physical, mental, emotional body with our breath. Exploring our flexibility here. Holding just a little bit more than we're accustomed to. Deep belly breath. And then start to release the fold, lengthen your spine, plant that left foot onto the floor, the mat. Now take your right arm out. We're going to twist towards the left, the elbow hooks onto your knee. You're taking your chin, your gaze towards that left shoulder. You can flex that right foot. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. And then exhale. 
side out, release the fold, transition into our tabletop. We're gonna go ahead and take only one cow pose and cat pose. Now, as you're lifting into your cow pose, you're lifting your tailbone as much as you can and then round your spine, cat pose. One round and then release back into a neutral tabletop. We'll lift our right leg so it's parallel to the floor. Bend your right knee and then stack your hips to the right and fold. Nice opener here for the glutes and hip. You also open throughout the lower back. Press through your palms. Deep belly breath. And then release. Knees are hips width distance apart here. Now lift your left leg, bend your left knee, stack your hips, hold. Deep belly breath. And then release. Once more, we'll lift our right leg, bend our right knee, stack our hips. Deep belly breath. However, this time, we'll round our spine, knee shifts towards our chest, chin towards our chest, hold, you cover. And now release your knee onto the floor. Opposite side, lift your left leg, bend your knee, stack your hips. Deep belly breath. And now round your spine, knee towards chest, chin towards chest, press through your palms. And now drop your knee onto the floor, one cow and cat pose. Inhaling up, exhaling, rounding your spine, cat pose. Shift back into a neutral tabletop. Press that left hand onto the floor. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling and hold. I'm lifting my arm as high as I can, pressing my hand back. Right hand back. And then release. Opposite side, lift your left arm. Lengthening as much as you can throughout that arm and then pressing that hand back. Don't forget your breath here. Release your hand. You can shift your hands forward and now lift up into a downward facing dog. You're lifting your heels. Hips are lifted. You're grounding through your palms as you're simultaneously taking that chest closer towards your thighs. You're breathing to your calves, your hamstrings, and then throughout the length of your spine between the shoulder blades all the way down to your fingertips. Take one breath. Inhaling through your toes up to your fingertips. Inhaling and exhaling. We'll take our gaze right between our hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Left hand grounds on the mat, shin or thigh. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. There's a generous bend to that left knee. You can lengthen that left, that right leg as much as you can to intensify a stretch of the glutes, hamstrings, hips. Don't forget to breathe in this twist. Inhale and exhale, release. Right hand on the floor, shin or thigh, generous bend to that right knee. Lengthen your arm up towards the ceiling. Left arm. Don't forget to breathe. You can lengthen your right, left leg ever so slightly, intensify that stretch. Release your hands, soften your neck, relax your neck here. Hands to your shins, inhale halfway up. Exhale, release two more times with your breath. Inhaling halfway up, make sure your back is flat and you roll your shoulders back. Exhale as you release, soften your neck, your head. Third round. Inhale halfway up, exhale, release. We're going to roll up slowly, your arms dangle. You're grounded through your feet and your spine slowly lengthens. We slow down our relationship with time as we slow down with our bodies. Mountain pose, hands framing our hips here. Let's take one deep breath here. Belly expands, optional exhale, side out. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, extended mountain pose. This means your palms are facing each other. Chest is open. You can lift your gaze, lift your chin. You're still grounding through your heels and by an active extended mountain pose. 
It'd be difficult for me to move you if I try to because you're active here. Take a breath. On an exhale, dive down, forward fold. And stitions, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Second round out of three, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Third time, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. This time we're going to sweep our arms up overhead. We're grounding through our heels. Hands meet in front of our heart center. We're going to prepare ourselves for three sun salutations. I'll go ahead and cue, but feel free to move at your own pace. First, check in with your feet. They're grounded onto the floor. Spine is long. Let's take one breath here. Inhale, exhale. Another inhale. And exhale. On an inhale, we sweep our arms up overhead, extending throughout the spine. Exhale, we fold over. We're lifting the tailbone. Our knees are bent. We inhale halfway back, up. Sliding our shoulders back. We exhale, release. Inhale as we ground our hands on the mat into our plank pose. Exhale, release down towards the floor. And then inhale, tops of the feet are on the floor. Extend throughout the spine in that upward facing dog. And then down dog. In that down dog, you can remain there one breath, two or three breath cycle. You can take your gaze right between your hands, walk or jump up to that forward fold. Take your hands to your shins, inhale halfway up. Exhale, release, let's sweep our arms up overhead. We're grounding through our feet. Hands meet in front of our heart center. We're noticing left hand press against right hand. Right hand, press against left hand. Release your hands, inhale, arms lift, extend through the spine, exhale, hinge at the hips, you're folding down to that forward fold. We inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, step back into your plank pose. Keep your elbows close to your torso as you release down towards the floor. Inhale up, upward facing dog, be careful with your lower back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Hands to shins. Inhale halfway up. Exhale. Release. Sweep your arms up overhead. Do so intentionally with presence. Noticing your right hand press against your left hand. Left hand press against your right hand. We're welcoming this present moment. And inhale here, exhale, side out. And then we'll prepare for that third sun salutation, arms lift. Round through your heels as you hinge at the hips, fold down, relaxing and softening the neck, the head. Hand position, shoulders slide back, lift halfway up. Exhale, release, inhale, step back, plank folds. Release down towards the floor, activating the core, inhale up. We meet at our downward facing dog. Now once in that down dog, lift that right leg, bend your right knee, stack your hips. And now right knee shifts towards that right elbow. Hover here, lengthen your leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. Now right knee edges towards your left elbow, inhale here. Exhale, lift your leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. Invite a generous breath here. Release your foot back down towards the floor. Take a generous breath. And then once you've taken that breath, you lift your left leg. Bend your left knee. Stack your hips. Left knee towards that left elbow. Hover. Lift your leg. Bend your knee. Stack your hips. Remember your generous breath here. And now left knee edges towards that right elbow. You're hovering, lifting the core up towards the ceiling. Now lift your leg, bend your knees, stack your hips. And then release your foot down towards the floor and then step down into a child's pose. Knees close together or knees towards the edges of your mats. Check in with your breath. Take that breath that supports you. We'll be here about five breath cycles. 
Lengthen your inhale and exhale a little longer than you're accustomed to. One more breath here. Start to release your child's pose by grounding your hands onto the mat. Shift your knees, their hips width distance apart. Take one cow and cat pose. We're always protecting the spine. And from your cat pose, you can shift your hands forward just a little bit and then lift up downward facing dog. Chest shifts towards your thighs. Take your gaze right between your hands. Walk or jump up to that forward fold. Hands to shins. Inhale halfway up. And then your choice how you come up to standing. You can roll up slowly or sweep your arms up overhead. Whatever supports you right now. And then practicing that stillness, we'll take three breaths in our mountain pose, hands either in front of your heart center or hands framing your hips. We're taking an inhale and exhale for the day we've had so far. We're taking an inhale and exhale for this moment. And an inhale and exhale for the rest of our day. We'll start to shift into balance. First, a two-legged balance. Let's lift our arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers. Palms shift up towards the ceiling. Lift your heels halfway or all the way up. Now, I recommend finding a point, keeping your gaze steady on that point. If you're noticing a steady gaze and also a steady breath. Try not to shorten your breath here. Continue taking those generous breaths. We're also noticing the relationship of effort and ease in all the poses. Notice here what requires effort, what feels at ease for you. It's unique for everyone. Hold. Inhale. And then exhale, release your heels. We'll shift into a chair pose, firing up our glutes or quads, lifting our tailbone, radiating our arms out. And now bend even further, bend your knees, fold down, forward fold, hands to shins, inhale, halfway up, three rounds, you're sliding your shoulders back, and relaxing your neck, your head as you fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, third round, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release, your choice, how you come up to standing, make it your practice. These both create a different inner experience, whether you're swooping your arms up overhead or rolling up slowly. Hands in front of your heart center. Start to prepare for your warrior three. We're gonna take our right foot back, about a foot behind us, and invite the tiniest little bend to that left knee, a little micro bend. You don't wanna lock your knee. And then you're activating the core, quad strength and glute strength here. Hands to your heart center, and then you're simultaneously dropping your chest towards the floor as you're lifting that right leg. So eventually that leg is parallel to the floor. And just depends where you're at. If you want to just float that foot a few inches off the floor, that's fine. You're experimenting with your balance here, gaining comfort with balancing on that left foot, squaring your hips towards the floor, activating that strength of the quads and glutes and core. And that, that takes time to cultivate. Hands can remain in front of your heart center. You can bring your arms out to a T. Hold. You can either remain here, inhaling, exhaling. You can work on your half moon pose here. Your hands are right beneath your shoulders. You keep that right leg extended behind you. You can remain here or 
plant your fingers, those left fingertips, your palm onto the floor, and then lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. You're opening up your hip here. Hold. Hold the pose. Take a breath. And then release that right hand onto the floor. Shift that right foot to meet that left foot. For full hand positions, inhale halfway up. Exhale, release two more times. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, release third round. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, release your choice how you come up to standing. Either sweeping your arms up overhead. We're rolling up slowly. We'll take a breath here to gather our inhale or exhale. This time, our right foot steps back. Let's see. Earlier, we had our left hand on the floor and we're lifting our right leg. So right now, we're lifting our left leg up. So the left foot shifts a foot or a few inches behind you, give a little bend to that right knee, hold. Hands to your heart center, drop your chest, lift your leg, find a point to focus on. Inhale, exhale, either remaining here, or dropping your hands towards the floor, another option you can remain here, or press that right hand onto the floor. You can take your fingertips here and then lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. You can take your gaze up towards the ceiling. Always noticing that effort and ease in these poses. Deep belly breath. And release that left hand, left foot meets that right foot. Hands to shins, inhale halfway up. Exhale, release second round, inhale halfway up. Exhale, release third round, inhale halfway up. Exhale, release your choice how you come up to standing, either rolling up slowly or sweeping your arms up overhead. You're grounding through your heels, your core is active. And then practicing that stillness, we inhale and exhale here for the day we've had. We inhale and exhale for this moment. And we inhale and exhale for the rest of our day. Open your eyes if your eyes are closed. And then we'll shift back into our two-legged balance. Noticing the difference here. It's a different type of support here when you're balancing on two feet. Still challenging in its own ways as well, though. We're kind of lifting our heels, core is active and hold. You're practicing that equanimity. That inner sense of balance of calmness, even breath, as your body exerts itself. There's strength here, there's balance here. Inhale, and exhale, release your heels. Chair pose, we'll bend our knees. You're lifting your tailbone, radiating your arms out. Fire up your glutes, your quads. Very grounded pose, notice your Heels, the edges of your feet, outside edges, inside edges, big toe. Bend your knees further, fold down, or fold one round. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Move through your vinyasa, stepping back into a plank pose, activating your core. Release down towards the floor. Inhale up, upward facing dog. And then exhale downward facing dog. In that downward facing dog, always optional to take a tabletop instead. Lift your left leg, bend your left knee, stack your hips to the left. 
And then left knee edges towards your left elbow. Hover here, you're activating your core. Lift your leg, bend your knee, stack your hips. And now left knee edges towards your right elbow. You're lifting your core here, pressing through your palms. Lift your leg, bend your knee, stack your hips. You're still bringing your chest closer towards that right thigh. Release your foot down towards the floor. Generous breath. Now lift that right leg. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Right knee edges towards that right elbow. Hover here and now lengthen your leg. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Right knee edges towards your left elbow. Hover, lifting your core up towards the ceiling. And now lift your leg. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Release your foot down towards the floor. Drop your knees and then shift down into your child's pose. Gathering your breath. Lengthen your inhale and exhale just a little longer than you're accustomed to. One more breath here. Release your child's pose. Shift into a neutral tabletop. Hands are beneath your shoulders. Inhale up, cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, cat pose. Hold that cat pose. From here, lift into your downward facing dog. Hold your downward. Inhale and exhale. And now we're shifting to a plank pose. You're holding your plank pose for three breath cycles. Make sure your hips don't collapse towards the floor. Lift your hips. You're imagining a cord. Lift your core up towards the ceiling. Lift up, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Plank pose. Hold your plank pose. You're holding your plank pose. You're not holding your breath. Lift back up, downward facing dog. Hold your down dog. And then plank pose, hold your plank pose. Fingertips are spread wide. Lift back up, downward facing dog. Bend your left knee. Take your left knee towards your left elbow. Drop your knee on the floor. We're preparing for pigeon pose. Now, I relax that right foot. Make sure that leg is not in a diagonal. You can balance here on your fingertips, lifting your chest, drawing your shoulders down. Gather a breath here. And then release into your pigeon. Now as you're here to release some strain on that left hip, you can keep your head lifted. You have the option of dropping your forehead to a fist or all the way down towards the floor. Most of your attention should be on that left hip. You're dropping your belly towards the floor, releasing any rounding in the lower back. We'll be here about five breaths.
Invite one breath with an inhale and exhale a little longer than you're accustomed to. Start to curl those right toes, ground your hands on the mat. We're lifting up into our downward facing dog. If you want to take a vinyasa, plank pose, and then upward facing dog, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we meet in our down dog. You can pedal your feet back and forth here. Loosening the hamstrings and the hips. And now start to take that right knee towards that right elbow. Release your knee right behind that right wrist. Look behind you. You can step that leg back, top of that left foot on the floor. Inhale. You can balance on your fingertips, take a breath here, and then release down towards the floor. Either head lifted or forehead to a fist or all the way down towards the floor. Drop your belly towards the floor. Five breaths. Take another intentional breath here. Curl your left toes, ground your hands onto the mat. Lift up, downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet back and forth here. You can take one last vinyasa of the class, releasing down towards the floor, inhaling up, upward facing dog, and then lifting up into your downward facing dog. Pedal your feet back and forth. And I'll drop both knees down towards the floor. Shift your hands so they're beneath your shoulders. We're gonna lift our right arm up towards the ceiling. We're preparing for a twist, our needle pose. Release that right shoulder onto the mat. And then lift your left arm up towards the ceiling or release that left hand on your lower back. Either option works. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Take a cow pose and a cat pose. And then opposite side, this time lift that left arm up towards the ceiling. And then release that left shoulder on the mat. Lift that right arm up towards the ceiling or release your hand on your lower back. Release your hand, that back down towards the floor. Take one cow and cat pose, inhaling up. Exhaling, rounding your spine, cat pose. Release the pose. We're gonna go ahead and shift into a cross-legged position. A mini meditation here of five breaths. Be strong in your body and active. If your eyes are open, look at one point across the floor and room and focus there, keeping your gaze steady. Now, when you close your eyes, you can also keep your gaze steady by lifting your gaze towards the center of your forehead. Welcome a breath that supports you right now. When you're ready, 
expand or extend the length of your inhale and exhale just a little longer. One more breath. Start to drop your chin towards your chest. Roll your head from one shoulder to the next. Either full circle or half a circle. If you prefer to work on meditation, take a moment to bring your head back to a neutral position. We'll be here about three more breaths with these neck rolls. So placing attention to the neck, shoulders, upper back. And it comes back to neutral. We're gonna prepare for two boat poses. So take your feet out in front, sole to the feet on the floor. Now, as you're here, you have two options. You can either grab your thighs with your hands for extra support, or you can take your hands, your palms out towards the ceiling. Now, you're engaging throughout the, you're engaging a lot of, you're inviting a lot of quad strength here and also core strength. You can imagine a cord lift your chest. You need that as a reminder as you lift your legs. So lift your legs, and then lift your legs as high as you can, and imagine that cord lifting your chest up. You want a nice long spine, and then watch for any rounding of the shoulders, draw them down. Any shaking is fine. You're just building those connections. There's a, a lot of um, both balance and strength in this pose. So take a generous breath. Exhale, and then release. Take a breath here, inhale, exhale. And the second round, lift your legs as high as you can, either taking your hands behind your thighs, do lift your chest. Imagine that cord lifting your chest up towards the ceiling. Draw your shoulder blades back. And then release, lengthen your legs in front. Make sure you have room behind to pull it down. Three breaths, first fold down, belly towards your thighs. You can grab your feet, chins, or thighs. One more breath. And then release the pose. Palms up towards the ceiling, slowly release down towards the floor. Find a point to hover, chin towards chest. Your feet can float off the floor or they can remain on the floor. Draw your shoulders down and then drop your head all the way back. And then we'll take an inhale here, exhale, side it out. Start to bend both knees. Now drop your knees towards the left. Bring your arms out to a T. We're shifting into a twist. Drop your head towards the right. To get a full benefit of that twist, your head and your knees have to face opposite directions. 
Soften down the length of your spine, especially around the tailbone and hips. Soften your shoulders. Feel supported by the ground. Two more breaths. Head comes back to center, and knees come back to center. Drop your knees towards the right, drop your head towards the left. Soften from the neck down the spine to your lower back, elbow, hips. You can imagine your knees softening further towards the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, one more breath. Knees come back to center, head comes back to a neutral position. Soften and lengthen that left leg onto the floor. Bend that right knee, extend your leg up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and get a stretch here. Drop the hamstrings, hips, you can drop your leg towards the right. Forward to the left. You can keep swaying back and forth, or you can just hold one position. Hold. You can press your leg up as much as you can towards the ceiling. The more you point your toes downwards towards you, you're going to get a stretch into the calf muscle. Do keep that left foot flexed towards the front of the room. Keep your core gently active. and Invite some more active pose. And then practicing slow, mindful movements. Release your leg back down towards the floor. And then opposite side, bend your left knee. Extend that leg up towards the ceiling. Interlace your fingers behind your knee. Press your heel up towards the ceiling. You can sway your leg towards the left and towards the right. Either keeping that sway or just focusing on one point. And about a deep belly breath, notice where you have any boundary and hold a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, one breath. Release your heel back down towards the floor. We'll bend both knees, rock to the left, to the right, massage around the lower back, around the tailbone, even the mid back. 
And then we'll start to shift into our last resting pose, our Shavasana, lengthening our legs, palms up towards the ceiling. However, if there's one more pose you need to feel more complete for the class, take a moment with that last pose. if you're in your Shavasana. Or in any pose you're exploring, try a deep belly breath. And then remind yourself that throughout the day, you can always return to that deep belly breath. When we're busy or lost in our thoughts or preoccupied with our to-do list, we tend to forget that deep, full breath. So familiarize yourself with what that feels like in your body just a few times a few breaths like that belly expanding rib cage, rib cage expanding exhale softening letting go and after you've taken a few deep breaths you can go back to your breath's regular rhythm no control of the breath if you do prefer to cultivate a practice where you're practicing long deep breaths you can go ahead and do that as well it just depends where you're at right now noticing that our vehicle is a focusing tool a vehicle to bridge your physical mental emotional body as we're inviting a holistic yoga practice in our last resting pose, it's a very deliberate opportunity to let go, to soften, as opposed to integrate the practice, receive and to let go, to release expectations and to notice the wisdom of doing nothing, slowing down, just feeling, just observing, Know that this is a very important time to to rest and to have compassion for yourself do soften your forehead and jaw and neck shoulders down the length of your arms to your wrists and palms and fingertips, even if you're just imagining those fingertips soften a little bit more. Pinky finger, forefinger, middle index and thumb, all softening. Soften the upper back, mid back, lower back, down the length of the spine to your tailbone. And then throughout the length of your legs, releasing the hips behind the knees, down the calves to the ankles and toes, softening there as well. Observing any thoughts, any sensations without judgment, just noticing.
We'll start to shift our attention back to our breath, inviting a generous and leisurely inhale and exhale. You can perhaps restore some movement to your fingertips and your toes. You have the option of inviting a full body stretch, lifting your arms up overhead, interlacing your fingers. And or you can drop your body to your side, allowing your body to remain heavy and relaxed. Once again, returning to a generous and a leisurely breath. It's a very particular type of breath that slows down a relationship to time. And then after you've invited a breath or two, start to make your way up to your seat. Cross-legged on your ankles. If you need to stretch your legs out, that's fine. You have been cultivating presence and awareness throughout the class. So we'll see what you can invite as you come into your seat. What extra little bit of integrity or awareness can you demonstrate with your body? And then we'll take a moment to appreciate our breath, noticing that by appreciating our breath, we're welcoming our experience. And that's a practice to cultivate. It's not something we're naturally good at. It's just something to observe and to get better at, sinking into the body, just checking in, welcoming what's there, whatever it is. So we'll seal the class in gratitude and appreciation of self and each other. We take our hands in front of our heart center and in the tradition of yoga, the highest 